You're watching Top 5 Amazing Inventions of 2016. Deep in the forest. Hi there, I'm Tyler. And I'm Nick. Together we form IOTA Enterprises. Here on Vancouver Island and everywhere around the world, human beings rely on forests. They provide clean air to breathe and water to drink. As well as jobs and recreation. They also help to stabilize the Earth's climate. Currently around the world, forests are disappearing faster than they can be replanted. Humanity cannot afford to lose this important natural resource. So we have therefore embarked on a mission to build a tree rover, a tree planting robot. This past summer, we took a four month break from school and have constructed a proof of concept robot. This prototype can autonomously plant multiple trees with no human interaction. We are very proud of what we've accomplished, but we need your help to continue. We would like to improve the tree rover so that it can navigate further and traverse rougher terrain while carrying more trees. In return for your support, the tree rover will plant a tree for you or someone special. We will film your tree being planted and send you the video clip. Which will look something like this. So please, Contribute to the Tree Rover project and have the Tree Rover plant one for you. Hey Angie. Hi Max. Welcome home. The essence of home security is simple. You need to know what's going on at home even when you're not there. Did you know that even if you have an alarm system, 41% of attempted burglaries happen when the alarm system isn't on? That's because classic security systems are unsophisticated and frustrating to use. I mean, who wants to tap a keypad every time you step outside? And even if the alarm is on, classic systems can't tell you who's in the house, whether it's a spooky cat burglaring ninja or just your grandma dropping off her famous casserole, which was delicious by the way. Thanks grandma. But really, why is your smartphone smarter than your home security system? Meet Angie, the world's first truly autonomous home security system for everyone. We built it to be completely secure, effortlessly usable, and absolutely reliable. Angie's fully automated two-step authentication process senses the Bluetooth signals from cell phones to immediately identify anyone who enters your home. And if your phone's dead, Angie uses voice recognition to identify you and your family. So relax. Angie's got you covered. Here's a feature that'll turn heads. Angie has 360 degree visibility. It automatically rotates to follow all motion and activity. And it doesn't just watch the room it's in. Angie monitors the entire perimeter of your home. Simply stick motion tags on the windows and doors and you're set. The battery also makes Angie easily portable, so it's ideal for keeping an eye on your kids, pets, anything really. But life isn't only about being safe. It's also about having fun with your family and friends. Angie can help you communicate with whoever's at home, from your kids to your elderly parents. It can also record, stream, and share, all easily controlled by your voice. 
So you can always remember that year little Emma got her new puppy. Or that awesome dance I did at the party. Our team has developed and operated mobile applications with millions of users. We've always taken pride in our ability to create an unbeatable user experience. And with Angie, we've taken this to the next level. What is the most precious thing in your life? For me, it's my home and my family. Their safety is priceless. I think this is true for many people. And that's why I've decided to build Angie. The first truly autonomous home security system for everyone. With an incredible team and funding from a big hardware company, we've built a prototype of NG in nine months. It exceeded everyone's expectations, except ours. Eventually, the big company wanted to buy us, take away our vision. Instead, we've invested our own money, stuck to our vision, and built a much improved version of NG. To get NG to your home, we need your help. I hope you'll join us. That was fantastic. And to think he was nervous about his monologue. Seriously guys, he's not an actor, just a nerd who built an amazing product, so show some support. Thanks, Max. He's a very special friend. Um, my dog's name is Henry. He's also very funny. Henry and I go on adventures. Sometimes I receive messages from my dog Henry. He tells me how much he likes to play outside. We're at the very beginning of understanding how most of our planet works. Jacques Cousteau co-developed the Aqualung in the 1940s. And it wasn't until the 60s and 70s that he really showed the world with his eyes and with his lenses and with his stories of what was down there. Because we have such a short history of ocean exploration, we have a very singular idea of what that looks like. And for a lot of people, it's a big man submersible being launched off the back of a ship but it doesn't have to look like that. Our goal with OpenROV has always been to make an exploration tool that everyone can use. The new version of OpenROV is the best one we've ever built. It's more maneuverable in the water. It's easier to build. You can build it more quickly, and it's a lot more durable. We want this to be a serious exploration tool. Here's how it works. On board the ROV are six batteries, which supply voltage to it and allow it to run for about two hours. It has a USB web camera, which sends video up to the surface via a tether. Once the signal gets up to the surface, there's a little adapter box, which you can plug an ethernet cable into, and it allows your computer's web browser to connect to the ROV. It's that simple. That extreme portability allows people to go to places that have never been explored because it's too hard to haul scuba gear there or a much larger ROV. So what we've created is something that's not only low cost and easy to build, but also something that can really get into the places that we've never seen before. Building a small, compact, durable, capable ROV is an incredible challenge. And there's really no way that we could have done it ourselves without this big community of people to help us build it. And the cool side effect is that we've developed this whole global network of like-minded searchers. So when you plug in your ROV, you're not just plugging it into a computer. You're actually plugging into this big community of like-minded explorers. I am so excited to see what people use the open ROV for. There is so much exploration to be had out there. All you need is a laptop, the ROV, and a place to explore.
How do you engineer an experience? When you strip away everything weighing you down, holding you back, you begin to float away, weightless, hovering. This is the hoverboard, the essence of pure motion captured, refined, and reinvented. The hoverboard translates your will into motion. A single point of contact with the ground minimizes friction and frees your movement from a linear path. Inside, precision sensors and electronics smooth and stabilize your ride, gently accelerating in whichever direction you lean. The controls are intuitive. Gently apply pressure to one end of the board to accelerate. Lean gently to one side or the other to turn in that direction. When you stop, you can set the board down on its side to dismount. The electric motor powers a top speed of 20 miles per hour, perfectly balancing safety with efficiency at every turn. In my first company, I had to figure out some way to pack all of the control electronics and the drive electronics into the motor itself. I succeeded in doing that and we called the product the Smart Motor. That really poised me perfectly for making the ultimate personal electric vehicle. The hoverboard moves you, but it's also a part of you with endless personalization options to make your hoverboard a perfect fit for you. Built-in speakers pair with your smartphone, giving you the perfect soundtrack for your daily commute or weekend joyride. Onboard lighting gives you visibility at night, letting you ride a cloud of light to your destination. The hoverboard is perfectly balanced in both form and function. It's fully electronic, whisper quiet, and amazingly efficient. The high capacity battery takes you 15 to 20 miles on a single charge. And the best part, it's not just an idea. We are riding the experience today. The thing that sets the hoverboard apart is that it really does take skill to operate. It's an earned experience. You have to get in touch with the nuances of the hoverboard. And once you do, the reward is a gliding, kind of willful experience that carries you where you want to go. The hoverboard is the ultimate form in a new class of electronic transportation, connecting us to our world in a way we've never experienced before. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. Please like and subscribe.